All right, all right. What's up, what's up, guys? Troy ATXRC Productions, 3DR Solo Owners and Productions, all that stuff. Coming to you today with the backpack. We finally got our hands on the backpack. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Kenneth. Uh, appreciate it. I know I gave you a hard time, and no, guys, he doesn't work for LTL. He is a IT manager and high-end tech dude, man. He knows what he's doing and what he's talking about. Um, I apologize for that mix-up. I thought it was a little funny, and uh, some other people didn't. It's okay. But uh, Kenneth gave me a call this morning. and was like, bro, they're here. Get it. Got it. All right? How that goes about, I don't want to tell you, but we got it. Um, man, I'll tell you. Exciting about this is first, this bad boy right here functioned. Don't get me wrong, it worked. But as you can see, it is beat up. The case is an egg crate. This is what comes with the 3DR Solo. It works fine for carrying this thing around, throwing it in your trunk and leaving it. However, it's got some downfalls. It's egg crate, it's basically cardboard. It falls apart. As you can see the gap, it likes to open up little gaps if you try to put more stuff in there. And I've had props fall out and I've had a battery kind of bang around. That all being said, this thing works great. It's better than heck of nothing for the last 45 days, 60 days. So thank you 3DR for including this. However, it's got to go. Time to get it out of here. So things to go over real quick. I know I mentioned this really early on. This little foam piece is awesome to keep. It's part of the packaging originally. It keeps your battery from engaging as well as sliding around if you want to keep a spare battery in solo ready to go or for an extra hold spot for an extra battery. Now you can see before we get to this, how I have mine set up, what's inside mine. So solo, I can put the camera in, keep the camera in or not, but it's out. I then have some spare props. The ones that I'm currently using are kind of just set in here on top. I actually have spare props too, so I used their foam protector that the original packaging came in and had those slid in the side here. The prop facing the back, the edge of the box just to keep them in there. So we've got props. Uh, I've got my son, my patty hat that's in there. Got a battery that's in there. I've actually put multiple batteries in here. I've got my extra DB, 5 DB free skies. I've got my FPVLR, which sit sits right in there like this and solo sits nicely over it so it worked out and then obviously random cables that's actually not even needed charger for the controller just to keep on me I like to have and the radio so everything's out and gone and no boss this is exciting all right so we got everything out I'm gonna set it aside though because we gotta first take a look, man. This is the first look at the backpack as far as outside of the 3DR videos and stuff like that. Um, we've all seen it. We've all, you know, taken a look at it. Um, so, concerns. When I initially saw pictures of this bag, I started getting concerned about the, um, fabric or the materials that they use. In particular, this front panel was the one I was really worried about in these feet. The pictures just didn't do it justice. They weren't very high res and they made me think that this material was more of a vinyl -y, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not. It's, it is a definitely a composite, vinyl composite of sort to kind of keep the bottom nice and uh, if you get dirt on it, it looks like you could wipe it away really nicely um, and easily. But it still is, it's like a coated canvas basically. It's a rubberized canvas is what it looks like. So it looks like, or a plastic coated canvas. Um, my concern was that it was just some kind of vinyl or something like that that would kind of tear or peel. Um, it looks like it'll be good. I will say that the other concern I had was some of these materials. I was wondering, were they um, embroidered or were they paint or, you know, what were they? Well, I can tell you that this is definitely kind of like a, this 3DR that's ghosted on the bottom is definitely like a rubber paint or whatnot. It feels like it's gripped on there. It's going to be fine. 
Um, I don't think it's gonna really go off. Same thing here. These are this is like a raised rubber painting or you know lettering. Um, it again, it feels nicely on there. I mean, I'm not gonna try to peel it off necessarily because I don't want to peel it off, but it's not coming off. I can tell you that. Handle. And this is something that I noticed and I liked about the unit was it's got like a seat belt wet strap as the backpack, the basis of the backpack strapping, as well as the handles are all this nice kind of um, rolled and it's got like a piece of foam in it and it's the same seat belt style of kind of material webbing or whatever. Um, again on, wow, and I just noticed it does not want to slide. Those feet, <laughs> those feet are holding it awesome and there's nothing in it. Um, again, here, rubber. It's like a raised rubbered um, logo. Something else that's not really visible is, on the pics is all the padding for your back. I was worried about that too, that, you know, it needs some good padding, but there's some decent thick padding there. You can see double at the bottom here, and then there's like a, a back plate for each of your um, shoulder blades, if you would. So pretty good. So nice. The arms, again, padded nicely. These hooks, they're plastic, but there's some hooks to kind of military style, kind of hook some carabiners to if you wanted to. It does have the cross strap for the chest um, to kind of keep everything nice and snug if you're really hiking and really want to keep this thing, uh, you know, stable. Uh, besides that, the side handle again is the nice rolled and foamed inside. Uh, it's got a nice little 3DR tag. It's legit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So that's that. Real quick, I mean, the size comparison. You know, um, Size-wise, it's really not much bigger than the box that comes with it, man. I mean, it's shaped slightly different, so it's going to be slightly different. But that's that. So let's open it up. The zippers have a nice kind of canvasy webbed, but also with a little painted solo triangle. So we will open it this way. So as you can see, as we all know the pictures, but again, the same, all the same zippers. This is something you couldn't really tell, but you can tell now is this is actually a, a pocket. It's a deeper pocket than it than I expected. I always saw it laid flat and I thought that it was a flat pocket design, but it's not. It's um, definitely got some depth to it. So there's that. There is, so if you were to open it, you could, you have this little webbing here to kind of keep stuff in. There is a strap. Um, we will take a look at exactly how this bad boy goes in there in a second and see, I think the strap is for the radio, yeah. So the strap's for the radio, I guess, to keep it nice and tethered. Um, there is a piece of foam in the bottom. And that foam is obviously for the gimbal to kind of comfort the gimbal and the GoPro, which is good. The foam itself I was worried about, I'll be honest. Oh, by the way, GPC, guys. It is the foam and the bag is GPC. It also, while I have it like this, has Velcro, I noticed. So you could actually pull this entire foam unit out. And I suppose you could drop a new foam unit in if, say, a new configuration came out that you needed a new configuration or you wanted your own custom foam. Um, but again, the foam itself, I've never had GPC and I've never really seen this type of foam in anything. Um, I'm not saying it's amazing. I'm not saying it's bad. I don't know. Um, but seeing it in person, it is not the foam that I thought it was in the pictures. In the pictures, it looked like it was that kind of... And it still doesn't feel 100%, you know, high density, nice and soft, like, you know. Um, but it's not the porous kind of cheapy foam that I really thought it looked like, which I was concerned. I thought that's how they kept the price down. But um, instead of being laser cut, it's clearly molded. So there's that. Um, we've seen kind of how everything goes in there, but let's do it anyways. All right. So here we go. So radio. 
Um, we saw this strap in the bottom, so we're gonna put the radio. And it fits nice and snug. I'll say that being the type of foam this is, I'm a little concerned about the thing being snug enough, but it's good. In fact, you don't need the strap, but I'm gonna use it because you know you wanna keep it nice and safe in there. So, got that. Uh, batteries, one. I've actually, I've got four batteries, but what we're gonna do is we're actually only gonna load these. I'm gonna load one there. I'm gonna show you that one can be loaded there. My other two batteries are out in my car right now. And then we've got batteries here, batteries here. And if you wanted to, I suppose you could load one again. Like I said, I plan to have my fifth battery if I need one in solo. So this appears to be the only real thing is you, you know, you gotta make sure you put the gimbal in there on the right side like everything else, or on the correct side. So we're putting it in there with the gimbal down. You can see, I mean, it moves slightly. It's got a little movement, but that's okay. As far as up and down, I'm not too concerned because the foot paddings here, or these paddings here are for the motors. So this goes in the, the hole and I can actually feel that it secures the bag. So once the bag is zipped, it's not gonna float around very much, um, I don't think. So what we are gonna do is we'll do that. Um, let's see, props, I believe go here. I don't know. We'll check. We'll just put them here anyways. Um, I'm definitely going to, I think, label my props now that I know that they're just kind of chunked in here. But, I mean, that's where I'm going to keep mine, I guess. And I'll be honest, you could fit. I've got eight props in here and it looks like I could easily fit another eight props. I mean, I never keep that many props of my high end stuff. I don't wreck my high end stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm going to put my free sky DB tennis in here. All right. I'm going to put my pad hat actually here. You know, it looks like I could trim and I think I will, I'll trim this padding a little bit at some point to fit my FPV LR. So what I'll do is I'll just trim the foam a little bit, just far enough down to where this will sit in there snug. So I'll use that edge. Wow, that's gonna be perfect actually. In fact, I'm gonna trace this now. Cool. Got it traced and I'll actually, I'll trim that out in a little while and that thing will fit nice and snug. So we've got our pad hat. Um, got this. You can put the charger here. As far as the solo charger, you can go here. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's where my FPV LR antenna I think is gonna end up. So we'll actually go with the charger on the other side. Pad hat can actually go with the tab. Here is the rest of the cable for the charger. And it looks like if I put the charger with the wire portion down, that, I believe I should actually be able to put this charger right there. I don't know if this is how they intended all this stuff, but I kind of like it. So um, battery, chargers, all that stuff. So again, we're going to decide to put our pad hat in this over here. We will put our FPV LRs here, even though I'm not going to leave them because, again, I got to sync them, but I just wanted to show you. Um, our iPad. 
We'll do our iPad and our Android, or I mean our WinPad for downloading logs up in here. So there we go. So the only thing I'm missing for me, I'm not going to keep GoPro equipment in here. Um, for me, there's no need to. I have a separate bag with all my GoPro stuff in it and my uh, Dominator V2 heads, headgear for, or uh, goggles for FPV. So this goes with, with me depending on which rig I take. So I don't want to lock my GoPros into my boxes. So that's just me. Um, if I want, I can have one attached. I could also utilize this other space here, some of these other pockets and stuff. So, but I just wanted to show you that that's it. This is basically how I'm gonna roll with mine. Um, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of final thoughts. I'm impressed. This thing is well worth the money. I'll tell you, I've spent money on cases. Y'all seen my other cases in my other videos. I've seen bags for mm, same price, much higher. Um, the DJI one was another reason why I was very concerned with this one. I've seen them and I don't like them. I don't think the quality is there. I've seen issues with them too. So I'll be honest, I don't know for sure because I haven't used it, but I'll tell you right now, I like this thing a ton. And the idea of that's my solo, that's what I need. It's got everything in it. And I'll leave you with the fact that I can grab it, throw it on my back and I'm set. I'm ready to go. So I'll tell you what, I want to go fly, man. I'm going to take this thing out. We're going to go fly. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks 3DR for finally getting us the backpack. Thanks for watching the first look. Uh, let's keep supporting us, guys. Keep looking for new videos. Uh, ATXRC Productions out. Fly safe, fly smart, fly DJ. He didn't say that. Fly 3DR. Ha! Quick update. Um, right before I was about to throw this on YouTube, I just realized. If you take the prop foam from the original packaging and you trim off the GoPro frame mount spot, which was right here at the end with a pair of scissors. You just clip that off. That will allow you, sorry, I wasn't ready for this. To put your props in the foam as you did prior. I know I'm putting multiples of the same colors in, I don't really care. Oh. And this will actually fit right there. So your props don't rattle around. Now this was the only thing that I'd say was a little annoying about it so far was without that foam there, with the bag zipped up. And I'll also say you're gonna be able to carry less props, but they're not gonna rattle around. No longer. It used they used to be slapping around in there. So anyways, update, don't. We'll talk more about this when we mod. Peace!